Hey everyone, this is Truveen and first of all, I welcome you all to second episode of my new segment called Talk with Devs, where we are going to talk about different things with our industry expert. And today's session is something which is most requested by my YouTube subscribers that most of the time when we are starting and preparing for any certification, we have lots of question in our mind that how we can get started and how we can prepare for that certification. So today we are going to talk about one of the most important certifications certification for Microsoft Power BI, which is Data Analyst 100, which is called as a DA100 certification. And to present this overall session with us, we have our industry expert, Aro, with us. So first of all, I would like to welcome Aro on my channel. Hi, Aro. Good morning. Hi, Dravin. How are you doing today? I'm doing absolutely well. How about you? I'm absolutely fine. It's very uh, raining in Singapore, so uh, uh, pretty wet, but uh, I'm very excited to, that uh, we have a warm session today. <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. And th I would like to thank you a lot to, uh, you know, put your entire effort to prepare this entire session. So most of my uh, subscribers, audience would definitely love to see this entire session and they will learn a lot that how they can start with DA100. Basically, when we are preparing for any certification and get started with any certification, we have lots of questions in our mind that how to start with and how to prepare for the certification. And definitely this session is something which will answer all the question to uh, all the beginners who are who are uh, wanted to turn in into certification part. So before we get started with today's session, uh, I would like to talk few things about Aro. So Aro is rewarded with uh, Microsoft Data Platform MVP. Apart from that, he is Office 365 consultant and he is also Microsoft certified trainer and Nintex VT. He has a huge experience in Microsoft 365, SharePoint Online and Data Platform. He is Office 365 consultant and Power Platform Trainer. You can follow Aro on his different social media handles over here. Uh, here is his LinkedIn account and I would like to uh, follow Aro on LinkedIn using this URL. The links are always down below in the description box. You can also follow Aro on his blog post account. Here is the link and I will provide the link in the description box as well. Apart from all this professional thing, I would like to say Aro is also a fitness enthusiastic and part-time choreographer as well. He spare his time uh, by writing some technical blogs as well. And he is a Toastmaster member as well. Also, uh, he is organizing so many events as well. So he's a part of uh, Apex Data event. And apart from it, uh, next month, Aro is going to organize one of uh, another event that is Microsoft Global Hindi Bootcamp, where uh, we are going to promote different Microsoft technology in the regional language like Hindi and English. It's not a pure Hindi. It will a combination of Hindi and English, as well as if you are interested to speak about uh, speak on our event, the CFS link is available. Down down below in the description box as well as if you wanted to attend this session the registration link as well available in the description box so go ahead and uh, the event is about to happen on may 8 2021 so share and bookmark that thing in your calendar yep so i think uh, i talked almost everything about aro and again uh, aro thank you so much for joining here and now i would like to um, invite you and share your expertise with us. So welcome again, Aro. And now the stage is yours. Sure. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Dhruven. Um, I never knew that I have so many things in my profile, but uh, uh, I really want to share a lot of things with the community. And uh, uh, I don't talk about the certifications uh, because uh, when you do any certification, this uh, um, and you work with the Microsoft uh, stack of technologies, you have to be learned about new technologies all the time. So I never talk about certifications, but uh, uh, this uh, you mentioned to me about DA100 is a lot of people asking. Um, and I do a lot of research um, before I write any exam. Uh, it's just for DA100, but all the exams I do, um, let, me, let me just be clear that it takes some time to write any certification from ranging from uh, one month to two months. Um, and uh, uh, I believe in a um, lot of lot of uh, uh, Udemy videos and a lot of lot of videos I mostly learn and also Microsoft Learn, which is amazing uh, 
uh, they have revamped and the thing entire thing inside the Maxwell plan. So let me show you what I have in my uh, slide deck so that you can see everything. Uh, this is my screen. Okay, so this is a, a agenda for us. Um, Dhruvan, you can see my screen, right? Yes, I can yeah. see. So okay, I have not updated. Okay, so what we will cover? They talk about um, the Microsoft uh, DA hundred. What what is that exam about? Uh, and uh, um, if people know, uh, previously we have uh, an exa uh, exam called as uh, um, 7778, which is an uh, old exam. Uh, and uh, uh, now DA 100 is a successor of that. And a lot of new changes happened in those exams, right? So um, uh, I would strongly recommend don't go for 7778 because it's uh, expired. Try to go for DA 100. And there are a couple of differences there, but if you have uh, already passed 7778, uh, you already gone through a lot of lot of uh, changes which have Microsoft done so far for the Power BI desktop and um, changes. So a lot of things are uh, still there, but D100 have a lot of new changes which I show you in my, in my slide deck and also some other things. I can't show the demo. Obviously, there are a lot of things I can't show, but uh, um, but we. It is supposed to be exam preparation, so we work on the Microsoft uh, Learn resources, and then a few things which uh, I want to uh, point out, and then uh, there are other resources uh, which I mostly use it. Um, Microsoft Learn is amazingly good, uh, but what I have seen so far, I'm uh, that uh, Microsoft Learn is really good. I mean, like a lot of content is, uh, and they update very uh, rapidly as well. OK, the, what happened is that uh, uh, the changes, uh, for example, like you write an exam and then after two months, right, uh, you refer to Microsoft Learn. So they made some changes which you're not seen it, right? So um, Microsoft Learn is updated very fast, um, very good resources, but mostly what I is my OK, everyone has different uh, ways of learning. I mostly believe uh, in learning uh, in using videos. Because uh, I can learn, I can see and practice, uh, and then I refer to that online video. Okay, so I refer to a few of the online resources which I learned from, uh, and then uh, um, main areas again. It's not about the main things, but main thing which you I will emphasize that few of the questions will come from this particular area. Be uh, emphasis all the things I which I put in the blog as well, but. Uh, Few things at number five is something we have to focus um, very important uh, area. Uh, again, for example, you are writing exam uh, on July 20th. Uh, on 19th July, what should do? I mean, what I have mostly seen, just not for a DA 100, but any other exams, um, uh, what you should do, uh, it again up to you what you want to do, but something which you uh, I don't do any um, revi revision on the exact exact day. For example, my, my exam is on 20th of July, right? On that day, I don't do anything. I just relax, talk to my family, play some videos, uh, uh, fun videos and all. I Because I know on 19th of July, I already covered everything, right? If I do any testing or anything which is uh, uh, on 20th July, I want to revise again. You get really confused. So try to have a proper sleep, everything, so that your when you do diet exam, it's a very very long exam. It's the 13, uh, it's 33 hours around. You can do for uh, you can do within when two, two hours you can do it, maybe two and a half hours. But again, um, it's not it's an introductory exam. It's a, actually it's an intermediate exam. So it's not a beginner exam. Again, um, I failed a couple of times. Uh, although I do a lot of Power BI, but not a lot of things uh, are not covered uh, when I do on my day-to-day uh, -day things, right? So uh, failing is a stepping stone, I will say. Um, you get idea that what is uh, uh, missing from your uh, uh, learning and then how it can be improved. So failing is always as a, a stepping stone. Never um, always have a courage that you failed and then try to improve. OK, that is the one thing I show you some philosophical thing, but very important to note that. OK. OK, something myself, which uh, um, Dravid already mentioned. Now again, it's now it's a successor of a Power, uh, Power BI previously exam called as a Microsoft uh, 
um, analysis with the visual data with Power BI, Microsoft BI, Power BI. I also wrote this exam, uh, I think three years back. I also failed that, failed that as well. Uh, because Power BI is uh, always, they keep on changing the new things, all the things, right? So when you write exam, right, you keep, I request everyone, please see the, the notes, what Microsoft given the notes. Uh, maybe they have put some new new topics which you're not covered. So uh, one week before, or one week before, go again, see what Microsoft put some new uh, addition in the exam, whether it's a 7778 or D100. Uh, I will show you what I mean by that, but uh, always, always a, a, day, a week before, see if Microsoft have added a new content. Because of it, if they, if they add the new content, Obviously, new question will be there from there. Okay, so try to see it uh, before that. Okay, uh, always try to have a good understanding of Power BI. So I think all the people who are uh, go for DA hundred um, try to have some basic understanding of the data analysis. Uh, again, this is again I repeat again, this is not a basic uh, course. It's an intermediate uh, course. It takes some time to understand. Um, it's not a beginner. Course. So this is where you have at least uh, two or uh, two and a half years of uh, experience. Again, again, I repeat, at least uh, one to two and a half years experience, then write an exam. If you're a beginner, you can try, but maybe uh, not very um, maybe successful. Maybe six months, one year is still okay, but a beginner is just starting on, you get some idea, do some research, and then write exam. Okay, again, it's not a beginner exam. There are a bit main difference between the, the old exam 7777H, which is a, again analysis for Power BI and D100. What are the main differences? The main differences is that uh, this exam 7778 is still now expired, which means that uh, it will still in your uh, certification that is uh, um, this. So uh, this is the exam, 77C8. Okay, this is retired, okay? And in this exam, right, uh, it's the same, almost same topics which you have seen so far, right? Yeah. So here in this 77778 is again, um, same topics are there. Um, analysis uh, with visualization with data uh, with Microsoft Power BI, okay? Same thing are there. But uh, you see the topics are a bit different. I see uh, the number, if I just go and uh, download the skills, which for my exam. You see, I have a couple of, uh, sets. I have only three sections. One is the consuming transformation using Power BI desktop, which is around 25%, 20 to 25%. Second is uh, more into the around 45 to 50, how do we can model and visual data. And we have the last one is about uh, creating a dashboard and reports and apps in Power BI service. Okay, how to connect to data, uh, different Power BI with the on-premises on data, but there is uh, your SQL server, anything you can do here. Yeah. So this exam is uh, uh, still valid. I mean, that main valid means that uh, although it's re retired, but uh, I've seen many people in my LinkedIn and Twitter that they have still writing this exam that they can getting passed. Why that is valid? Because uh, only after two years, it getting uh, completely gone from the your Microsoft transcript. Okay, so all this retired, but it will be still valid for two years. This is the availability which I noticed from Microsoft. Right, there's a few things which I've noticed there. Okay, um, but I still recommend don't go for this exam. This is the uh, ex retired. Go for this. Okay, uh, I let me show you something which is. Uh, um, DA100, right? Which we are going for that. Very, very important part. Microsoft keep adding a new content. And when you add a new content, you can expect more questions. Uh, no, uh, more questions, not about more questions, more related questions on this particular topics. So let me go and uh, go for this. This is the exam. D100, you see, now we have four sec different sections. We have exam uh, uh, around the uh, Preparing data, which is around 20 to 25%. Okay, again, I show you in detail later on. Then we have another um, topic about modeling the data. 
how we can uh, change the, the stock flake data from fact tables to dimension tables, how we can do everything about that. Okay, more detail there. And second about the visualizing data. When you visualize data, then we also have another aspect about uh, AI features. Now, AI features are not that inside here, right? Not that, right? So anything which is under AI features are will be in, will be put, put there, okay? Uh, and then uh, we have something called as a uh, analyst data. So here you can see all your uh, um, the AI uh, visuals, the new visuals which have uh, Microsoft added, uh, like three visuals, which is the KPI, decomposition tree, and the Q, uh, and Q and a maker. Uh, these are already inside, not Q and a maker. Q and a uh, visual is already inside. So a lot of new features are added. Now, last one, uh, the fourth and part which they've added is uh, how to deploy and maintain the deliverables. So what deliverables you're talking about is about the how uh, the how you can make your uh, end user, uh, how they can see the data, whether it's the uh, example, whether they can see the data uh, only in India, in the Maharashtra, or they want to see in Singapore. So only specific people can see, so which we can do very easily using low level, uh, low level security. Right, which is possible, right? And also, a lot of things are changing. So um, again, which I noticed that if you if you always after one week, when for example you write an exam on 20th of July 2021, uh, uh, one week before you always see the data if Microsoft added new content like this, right? They added new content. They keep on adding all the time. So please, please review uh, the changes which they have done, right? Specifically. Like this particular topic, right? I have uh, seen something about uh, yeah, the creating of patient-aided reports, right? In D100, previously when I wrote the exam last year, there was no concept of patient-aided report. So when you are doing a, any a, a exam, please view what is the uh, uh, questions you can expect, right? This for surely some question will come from there for, for this topic, right? So be ensured that they're adding new, they're removing, they're also adding a new concept there, right? About data set, how to configure the large data sets, uh, how to add the um, uh, subscriptions, uh, promote, certify content and all, a lot of th things are there. So uh, when you go for exam, please review uh, one week before, one week before so that you are, uh, have no surprise on the exam. Right, so these are important our topics. Okay, good news. What is the good news? Good news is that is that uh, around 80% of the questions, not 80, around 75 to 80% are uh, around 70, 78 eight questions. Right. So what the new questions are mostly around the AI and the new features, uh, which has heard, uh, which you know, Power BI desktop is keep on adding new features. So mostly they are new features on the Power BI desktop, right? And some other features like paginated reports and all. So we had to ensure that uh, you are equipped with all the AI concepts. They're not, not very main uh, questions on that, but something which you have to be aware of, that uh, they are real questions on the AI concepts. Uh, maybe four to five maximum, I don't know. But I have seen so far when we wrote an exam, a couple of features uh, maybe on the uh, KPI, and also the decomposition tree and the QA uh, um, uh, visual few questions came on on the questions now. So very important to uh, when you review uh, a day before, uh, uh, one week before, please review it. Okay, good news. Okay, uh, so let me go show you something which is uh, um, important. I'm going through something which is uh, um, which you can view it uh, later also. Okay, so I'm going to Microsoft Learn. This is my Microsoft Learn. Yeah, and uh, and what is good thing is that it's free. Okay, I already shown you that now we have a different topics. Uh, one, two, three, four, five new topics are there, right? So keep on Microsoft keep adding the new things. They're splitting and adding a new content, right? Now how to prepare? 
there are a lot of lot of resources I, you can go for. OK, so first one is so uh, two ways to prepare. OK, first one always free, right? So when you go for free, you see that again, I repeat again, this exam is not big now. It's the intermediate, intermediate exam, which means it takes some time to understand the concepts. Uh, if you have experience of Power BI for more than one year, it's easy to clear, easy to clear. But if you have just six months or maybe two, three months, maybe you have to prepare for that. Maybe after one year, you can, you can just start reading and write an exam. Um, it's not beginner exam, OK? A uh, lot of new concepts are there. You can just uh, book, bookmark it and then maybe. Yeah, I've not signed it, but if I sign it, I can I can bookmark and then all my all the questions for Power BI are listed there. So maybe just go. I just go here. I sign in. This is uh, my uh, my. Yeah, this is Maya. So I have a. This is you can see my level two. Yes, I'm, I'm. I'm mostly do a lot of things for my LinkedIn learning. So what I can do here, I can just go and add. I can add and put as a. Add as you can make it. You see that I can add. I make a collection that this is for my DA hundred. Okay, I submit it. So later on, uh, uh, when I go back, right, all my these these data is saved now. D100, right? So this is now saved now. So same thing happened to I can go for learning part. Very, very in-depth. You can go start learning. And very detailed information is that I can see and the, the overview of uh, different roles you have. Um, what is the role of the data set? And you have good thing is that you can have a do a proper check that what you have done topic on the data analysis part. When you review, you can do a question, right? Whether it's a um, what kind of things you have done so far, right? So it give you a better um, idea that how you are faring with this exam, right? This particular uh, preparation using learning, learning, very good. I mean, one of the best training I've seen so far. I mean, but everything is no video, mostly content on step. OK, and it it takes some time. It's not uh, you have to review. Uh, maybe you cannot clear, then you review it again. So it, it could be some time to uh, clear it. OK, uh, I I mean, even for uh, uh, power platform and all, I failed. Then you read it again. OK, maybe I missed uh, proper topics. So you have to go uh, and review. I'm not about, about the data, but any Microsoft exams you're doing, right? You have to ensure that uh, you go for Microsoft learning. One of the best tools you can go attend that. OK, so this is the one thing you can go for. OK. Um, second one. Uh, that uh, I, I mentioned to that they keep adding. The question is they added new content all the time, right? So let me go F. OK, so Microsoft Learn is one of the best one you can go for. I, I also mentioned that keep on adding more questions. Uh, review after within one week. OK, um, second thing which I learned uh, from Microsoft uh, is about one of the um, a course called as a BI Light, and it's a amazingly good course. Okay, done by another uh, MVP. Uh, let me go. I let me. I already put that here. Okay, so um, highly recommend. It's very good course. Um, you can. Uh, um, it's now again depends. I pay only for one month. This is twenty nine USD. Uh, and you can go for you can go for a, a seven day trial. You can try for one. I can try. It's free, right? For seven days, it's free. You can try it out, and you can see all the content there. And the best thing is this guy is amazingly good, uh, and he cover all the topics, all the topics which is covered inside your Microsoft. Whether it's a preparing the data, 20-25 percent, everything is covered here. Everything is covering in, uh, which is a uh, in into your Microsoft exam the 100 everything so it's very good and he's updating as well right everything is inside here so uh, I mostly learn from him uh, and uh, uh, no we know that everyone the time is uh, uh, usually short for us we have read so many exams and all uh, but uh, uh, this I this exam I wrote it uh, um, um, twice because I failed one of the exams so I could not clear 
then I saw his this uh, website. I refer to this site uh, in my blog and also Durbin put his link as well here. Very, very good course uh, and uh, it will give you all the knowledge uh, for exam, right? Very, very um, amazingly good way he speaks uh, and very, very good topics he, he covers, right? Also, I have been purchasing a lot of videos. So you, this is, you see that uh, I bought it this course last year, DA100. And uh, uh, now this one is uh, around um, 25 hours of content, right? Now I don't know. I I mostly I skip a lot of contents because it's a uh, this particular course which I'm talk, show, sharing with you is uh, basic. Basic means he cover all all the things. Uh, how Power BI works, how uh, is related to Excel, how you can do. But show all share he give all the details very very clearly. Okay, and many many details. He's very good uh, instructor. Uh, but main things right, which I notice again, everyone is different uh, skill set. Uh, because I know Power BI, so I just fast forward because I know few of the concepts. So. Maybe I didn't go for all the uh, all the topics, right? Maybe I just go for uh, uh, three hours, four hours maximum because I can't go for 24 hours of YouTube content. And good thing is uh, uh, you always have a in Udemy every one month you have a $16 uh, in, in India. Maybe I have a in Indian rupees is very, very cheap in Indian rupees, but Try to get it it's very good, but I recommend to go for this exam. This is amazingly good. It's totally it's mostly focus on your exam DA hundred, right? Uh, you can go for Microsoft Learn also. Um, uh, everything is covered there. But I mentioned to you that the, the video content is easy to because you can practice, right? Easy to practice there. So I mostly work on the practice there. So um, your degree is here and it's around uh, is. Uh, um, around $16 uh, in USD. Um, another exam which I go for, uh, which uh, I used to learn, is something called as a measure up. Okay, and it has around a uh, lot of lot of questions. But again, uh, it has the subscription. Maybe after um, six months or three months, you can't buy it. You can't view it, right? So they have some. You can see that it has some kind, uh, uh, some offer for 25% and all. Uh, even this one is a uh, monthly subscription, right? The only good thing about Udemy is that it's free. It's, it's after you pay, it's permanently with you, right? You can buy, you can, uh, you can once you buy purchase, is that for you for lifelong, right? This is the good thing about Udemy. So let me share my entire screen. I have so many content there. Okay, so this is the one I'm. This is the thing I I've been sharing in my blog. Okay. Uh, same thing, okay. Um, when I do any exam, right? I it's not to just not exams. It's also I have to get a knowledge, right? Um, because when as a consultant, right, if somebody asks you that RO, how we can do it, right? And you can't if you just learn uh, and don't practice. This useless, right? Try to practice first, right? Try to practice uh, in the Udemy course. Uh, even for the this course which I'm talking about, this guy has given a lot of. Um, lot of uh, um, content inside. So you give uh, uh, the resources, a PPT uh, uh, about uh, all the content you have is will be with you. All the P PBX files there, you can practice that and see how it works, right? So these are a lot of things so you can have to practice, then you can do right exam. Without practice, uh, bound to fail, right? So I'm not going about failing about how to can do, right? So these are topics which I learned from that particular course, which this course, this this course, right? And uh, uh, I took took the notes, right? So let me show you here that uh, uh, when you prepare the exam, main thing is about the how do you get data? Data from you can get data from your PPT files, get uh, uh, files from Excel file, text files, anything. You can also different kind of storage modes you can go for. Again, something which is not inside your uh, 70, 77 age. This uh, uh, storage node questions came in into uh, uh, D100. Okay, uh, some questions came from the CDS and the workflows. Please practice for that. Again, uh, using the PBX files which are there, you try in that. 
There's questions on the uh, alimony part, which uh, I reviewed a couple of things. Again, clean and transform data, very important part. Um, do you have to see the data? Again, I'm not giving you uh, just for the exam preparation, but also for the your knowledge as well, right? And uh, um, again, I put the headli headlines which so you can refer to it later on. A lot of lot of questions came for about the data transformation, the table structures. OK, very important things to note here. Um, advanced features, a uh, uh, couple of uh, um, topics to note which came on the question is about here, about uh, how to leverage the advanced editor and how you can write the PBI at the AMP code, Power BI code. Very important question came there. So this is a very huge topic around 20 25% topic came just for preparation of the data. OK, next one I want to share with you is about the modeling, right? So how you can have uh, uh, design the tables, uh, how to, a couple of questions came about the, how to importing data, how to have a, a data query, whether you are getting the data from SQL Server or from your uh, um, uh, Azure SQL Server. So a lot of things you can have to questions came on about those topics, right? Right. Uh, about the lot of uh, topics uh, asked about relationship, uh, the cardinality part, about the uh, cross filter. A lot of questions came on that particular part, right? Um, that how to develop data models. You can see the a lot of questions came on the uh, calculated tables as well. Right, so very important. Um, three, four questions came only on this particular topic: data, uh, rollable security levels. Uh, so, uh, exam. I, I give you the, the, some question about the scenario, right? So, one of the scenario I want to share with you that um, you are working uh, in a uh, in um, uh, data center, right? And you want to show a uh, share the file with only with finance team, but not with the uh, the people who are inside your, your uh, IT team, how we can define it. So these are the questions come. These are the uh, 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 concept which are then the Microsoft learning and also in the uh, the BI light. The few of the questions are there. So please review this so that you can have a proper idea, right? The same thing so is no is no uh, thing which I'm showing you is everything is publicly available, right? I took just take notes so that I can easily remember for my exam, right? So I put them both so that I can easily refer it. So example, um, one guy want to has a corporate manager. He want to view it, um, then how he can view it as a manager. But what about the his normal people and normal stuff? They can't view it because he's a manager. They can view it, right? So these are things uh, uh, you have to be understanding it. Um, broader question came about the calculate. Um, uh, DAX questions came, a lot of things. Uh, a lot of people people don't know that the uh, um, very important uh, to understand about the how to even optimize your model. So I've seen many people in even my, uh, in my uh, uh, workplace also. Even I, if I do a lot of uh, um, training and also uh, some kind of uh, webinars, right? A lot of people are about how to optimize the model. So you have around 100 tables. How you can optimize? So there are a lot of lot of uh, techniques you can do it here. So this this way, how you can optimize? Or try to remove the unnecessary columns. We have, for example, you have the data which is around uh, 700 MB. Then how how you can view it? So you have to remove the uh, all your uh, unnecessary columns and rows so that uh, that your data model is lighter, right? Then you make it easier for the your user to view it, right? Same thing about the cardinality, how to create aggregations, everything is inside that, right? Or what I'm sharing, sharing with you is about Microsoft Learning and BI Lite, the which I'm sharing, sharing with you. I mean about this particular course. Okay, this course is amazing course, right? It's very, very easy to understand. Okay, uh, again, a uh, couple of questions came about the AI visuals, so be uh, be ready for that. A couple of questions will come with that. And uh, uh, fusion about the custom visuals. So if you, for example, you writing a uh, writing a custom visuals, how can you write it? You can write using Node.js. So a lot of questions came about how you can write a custom visual. Again, a lot of things you can do it here. Okay, slicing, dicing, 
um, how you can do it using uh, with the Power BI um, Visual with R or Python. A lot of questions came on that. So um, questions and the concepts. I won't say dot questions. I say concepts, right here. Dashboards. A lot of questions. Uh, concept come on that particular topics there. Um, and the bookmarks. Something which is uh, uh, not that part of a 7778. Bookmark came only two years back, maybe two, three years back. So um, if you're the uh, concept, you have to understand about how I can book a bookmark. Easy to uh, understand for the as a user perspective. So these are the few things where I want to share with you. Again, I put everything inside to your uh, in the in my blog. You can refer it and I sent linked um, with the uh, Durban as well. OK, um, again, AI visuals came. A couple of questions came on the AI visuals. Uh, refer to that. Okay, so these are the few topics I want to share with you. That uh, how you can make it uh, easy to understand the things. Uh, this thing, a new topic about uh, how to maintain the Power BI, refreshing uh, about a uh, lot of um, things which you can do in your uh, uh, Power BI Premium and all. Again, I don't know. A lot of people don't have Power BI Premium, but the concept will be that, so you can review it. Okay, so these are things which I noticed here. Um, how to create a uh, workspaces, create workspaces uh, and add workspaces. Something which I understand, um, which I noticed that uh, not all the things are uh, in there in the 100. So you have to learn, learn what. So for example, I want to understand about the column distribution, right? So something which is, so it's possible using the Power BI desktop. So I can do using this way. I mostly refer to few of the data sets. How we can reduce the data sets? A lot of things you can do inside. Uh, how we can disable it uh, to reduce the data sets, right? So a lot of things which I have learned, and also I refer to a lot of lot of people how they do it. So this way, uh, this not just a passing the exam, is more into understand the concepts, right? When you do concepts, you obviously clear the exam, right? So that's the thing I want to share with you. Uh, about uh, yeah, so few things I want to share with you that um, the D day, the day you're ex writing exam, right? A day before, a day before, right? What you should do, right? This is because I write exam very frequently. Review all the topics, see whether a Microsoft release new topics or not. Like I showed you that they added uh, pertinent reports in the DA hundred right now. So review, right? Review and see whether you know the concepts. What is a page generated report in Power BI? How you can do it? Do it a day before, okay? Then on exam day, for example, you had an exam on 20th of July. Sleep for 70 to 8, eight hours. Very, very important. Once you are have a, if sleep only for four to eight, uh, four to six hours, your brain will be tired because few of the topics are very, very bit tricky, I would say, right? So ensure that a proper sleep, right? And uh, um, don't read again, right? For example, okay, uh, on 20th of July, you go, oh, I want to read again. I, I have not read this thing. I don't read this thing. Don't read again. Please, please, I request all the people on that day, exam, exam day, don't read anything. I know that you have worked very hard for a couple of weeks or months. You already have got the idea, but on that day, don't read, don't work on anything. Spend time with family, okay? Drink a lot of water. Uh, I know all the exams you can, an online exam, drink a lot of water, right? Um, it will give you um, a boost of energy. The thing, the question, maybe, uh, don't you get confused, you read, drink a lot of water, Maybe that question will be resolved with you. So these are some basic questions. The thing which I have done in many any exams, the things which I want to do. I mean, my any any exams. It's not DA hundred. Any exam which I do, this is the thing which I always follow. Okay. Um, okay. Type type questions. The type of questions uh, will be um, you have um, some uh, MSQ, uh, uh, multiple uh, multiple questions will be there. Um, one or two case studies will be there, and uh, um, dry drop type of question will be there. Um, um, a particular questions, yes, no question will be there. So, um, 
it's just not uh, um, multiple questions, but also drag drop uh, kind of question will be there. Uh, and if you know the concept, then you can easily clear it. OK, main thing, please clear the concept first and then write exams. OK, uh, your master of learning is one of the best way, but I strongly recommend to go for this uh, course. Um, I don't know whether you can. Uh, it's very cheap. I will say this um, twenty nine dollars. And it, you just pay for one month only. Just pay for one month, and then you download it, and we can download or download whatever it is. I download myself because I don't know whether I can do it. I just download it myself, then I can I can because I, I don't pay twenty nine dollars every month. So that is the idea. I download myself, and then I just download my uh, and my PC, then I can review it. Okay, so that's the thing you can do it. Uh, you can do anything. I mean, it's up to you. But main thing, this is the uh, uh, not. Uh, a simple exam. Uh, main thing is a uh, lot of co concepts you have to be cleared and um, uh, I'll give you some other tips as well uh, in my uh, my blog as well and that um, my how other people have uh, they have any see any every everyone has different style of learning, right? I learn from videos because in the videos I can do practice directly on on my PP uh, my Power BI desktop file, right? I can do practice, right? Uh, again, if you want to do exam, any exam, it's better as your machine learning, at least at least two or five hours of lab exercise required. If you're not doing any lab exercise and just writing exam, it's very difficult to uh, to clear it. Okay, you must have at least two to five years, five hours of uh, uh, lab exercise concept cleared so that you can be able to um, clear it because few of the exam, a few of the questions are quite tricky, right? I told you I failed also. Failing is not a big thing, but just to, uh, to tell you that it's a bit tricky. It's not very simple. Uh, the questions are not simple, but I know that you guys can do it, do it very easily. OK, so uh, any questions, any uh, other things which I missed out, uh, Travin, from Yep. So uh, actually, I think Aro, uh, you covered almost everything. Uh, like uh, I love uh, the way that you have mentioned everything in uh, you know very easy manner, so everyone can understand uh, it properly. Like uh, uh, you have recommended three different courses that is Microsoft Learn, BI Lite, and one of the Udemy course, which will definitely help our um, users to start and prepare with the uh, in this particular certification. And also, as you mentioned it very clearly, like it's not just about certification, it's about learning. And if you are very clear on the concept, definitely you are able to clear the exam. And one note uh, I would like to uh, tell about all my uh, subscribers and uh, users who are watching this video, please keep uh, as Aro mentioned al al already that you need to visit the Microsoft site regularly because they are uploading the content every day and as well as they are uploading some new topics uh, in the examination as well. So at this moment we have recorded this video in April. So maybe in future when you are watching this video, it is possibility that few more things has been added. So make sure that you check always the latest stuff from official Microsoft links. Uh, I'll provide the link in the description box. So please be sure sure on that part and also if you guys have any question uh, related DA 100 just add your question in the comment section and if you think that you know uh, you wanted to cover specific uh, topic from this DA 100 and any Power BI stuff feel free to add your suggestion in the comment section we would happy to uh, hear from you. OK, yeah, so I mean that's a thing. The last note I want to share with you uh, with the audience here. Uh, please pre practice. <laughs> yeah, main thing is practice. Yeah, yes, practice makes you perfect. Actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, just go to the labs exercise uh, um, in the uh, Microsoft Learn also has some lab exercise, um, uh, and the uh, the BI Lite also have a lab exercise. Try to do it. Can you get a concept cl much clearer rather than this uh, studying? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Yes, I, I was just asking like uh, for measure up. Is it something that is similar like the question that is asked in DA 100 examination, meaning like similar patterns like yes, no type, then drag and drop type. This kind of question practice we can do on the measure up site or? Uh, yes, yes, yeah. So measure up site. OK, um, I'm using measure up sites for uh, uh, 
around uh, seven to eight years. Uh, I, not not for DA hundred because it's pretty pretty costly as well. But mm -hmm. what I've seen so far, they have a drag drop uh, and uh, uh, yes, no kind of questions they have that. I'm I'm thinking about the when I was doing uh, doing an exam for SharePoint exams, right? The mm -hmm. uh, SharePoint 2010, 2013, and all. So they have this. Uh, um, uh, that time have a uh, um, one year and three months the subscription model they have mm -hmm. uh, and yeah and good thing right uh, I mean this is something which you um, they, you can just take a screenshot take a screenshot and then practice and then mm -hmm. I don't know you can just if you have team member uh, member I, I, my memory is not that strong but I can see this memory this uh, uh, around uh, for D hundred have have one forty six questions they have. Mm -hmm. Right, I can keep screenshot and then remember some bad. Uh, put notes. I always keep notes for any exam. That this is my notes. Uh, I refer to this notes and all, so I can remember. Somebody asks me question, I can refer to my notes. Same thing for measure up. Go to that site, see the questions. They have a um, drag drop kind of questions. They have they have uh, um, MSc questions. A lot of lot of different type questions they have, but again, it's subscription based. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, and absolutely. Uh, as you m mentioned clearly, I, I would like to add one more thing here to uh, all the listeners that those are listening to us. Uh, it is the site for the practices, so do not rely that every question will be asked in your examination from those sites. So just yeah. Yeah, so it's for your practice that you know you can boost your confidence when you are preparing for any exam and you are just practicing some papers and you will you will get some energy like you know this kind of thing can be asked, but it's not something that this will be asked. Yeah, so, so one thing which I'm talking about the shape and exams, which I, I wrote exams, right? So I have proper clear understanding that uh, shape and 2010, 2013, 2016, the type of questions is quite similar, but not exact again is not exact. Right. Yes. So yeah. So what this measure up is a is Microsoft uh, affiliate uh, and official site as well. Is uh, uh, they give you a boost? What is it? Boost your uh, uh, concrete that uh, your what you understand is uh, uh, better, and then uh, uh, you can repeat it. If you, for example, you forgot. Okay, this particular topics. And good thing about the measure up is that they will give you uh, that. In this topic, you are uh, um, have to improve on. Then they will give you. Are you going to improve in this particular topics? Then only only those questions which are weak on, then they can work on those particular topics. Mm -hmm. They give you a much better way. I'm not talking about any other sites, but this is the measure up is uh, which I mostly use it earlier. So yeah, they give you an idea that you are weak on this topic. You want to re, um, work on the weak parts, then it make much easier. Then work on the weaker parts and then and then work on those particular topics. Yep, yep, absolutely. And that will be very helpful to us as well. Yep. So uh, I think uh, I'm good on my question. Uh, whatever I have uh, listened throughout this entire webinar. So uh, guys, if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section. And as I shared you the LinkedIn URL from Arrow, you can directly contact him as well on the message as well as other social media handle details from Arrow. I will provide in the description box so you can follow him on his Twitter and his LinkedIn everywhere. And of course, his blog link is also available in the description box. So check out that for more information. Yep. So uh, I think uh, Aro uh, once again, uh, thanks a lot for your uh, all this effort because you put everything together. So for any user who are going to start and prepare for this examination, it will definitely going to be helpful to them. And uh, I would like to wish everyone um, who is appearing for this exam good luck. And yes, of course, the tips that is provided by Aro for D-Day and everyone, everything is you know very very useful so just follow them and yes everyone has their own pattern of uh, learning so just follow and use this uh, as a reference that will definitely helpful to you thank you Dravin. thank you yep Yep, thank you so much, Aro. So now I would I would like to end up this session. I'm I'm just uh, going through the closing here. So let me just share my screen here. All right. So I think uh, Aro, are you able to see the screen? Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, so guys, uh, hope 
you love this session and this session values your time and uh, as i mentioned this is arrow's profile and he will upload this blog over here so you can go and review the blog as well as add your comments over there as well apart from that if you have any question uh, you can um, check on my youtube channel uh, so if you are for the first time to my channel make sure that you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel i am uploading new video related power bi power apps power automate power virtual agents teams and sharepoint uh, every day on my youtube channel so be subscribed and never miss any updates from my channel and if you would like to uh, follow me on my twitter here is the, here are the link twitter instagram and uh, podcast so if you are interested for different power platform related podcast here is the link on my channel you can go there and listen different audiogram on this particular uh, podcast channel also if you are interested for instagram learning related power platform here is the instagram account uh, power platform guy where i am uploading different post reels igtv and so many good things so while you are just doing instagram you can see some uh, few power platform related update and uh, get updated for your knowledge also you can follow me on twitter as well uh, so just follow me on twitter and you will get all my latest updates over here so this is thruvin uh, signing off see you in the next session with some another interesting topics uh, till then uh, goodbye and have a great day ahead thank you so much everyone and once again thank you so much aro for this uh, wonderful session and uh, definitely people would love to see this and they will uh, it will help them a lot to clear the certification so thank you thank you